Hi, this is Ian from petersellsland.com. I just wanted to give you some quick tips on locating our properties. If you take a look at the images first, you should be able to get an idea of what the surroundings of the property look like. Um, you'll see uh, the first few images are typically right by the property and we'll be looking in both directions on the, uh, the main road there. Uh, this property has a gate, so you should know to expect a gate. And you know, it, it just really helps to get a lay of the land before making your way out there and wondering where you're at, if you're at the right place. Um, you'll see on this map that we've marked here, we can, we'll show the distances on each side of the property, the measurements that are approximate. They're not always completely accurate, but they give you an idea if you're walking the property, generally how far you should expect uh, to walk. If you're trying to get an idea of the boundaries while you're out there. Uh, you'll also see that we've marked off a feature on this property, which was the gate that I was describing. So you see the gate is at the northeastern end, so you would know if you arrived here from the north to uh, head southeast onto the property there, southwest, a little directionally challenged. Uh, if you scroll over, you'll get you'll get more like a topographical map. You'll get you know uh, more zoomed out views. So you can see Highway 545 here, or County Road 545, Southeast 80th Street, um, County Road 337. So you can kind of get an idea where this property should be located in relation to other other main roads, Ridgewood Road there. And uh, you can even see some directions here from, for example, Morriston. Um, you know, it'll tell you where to go from Morriston. We, we usually pick the closest city. It'll show you how to get to the property from the closest city. And, you know, more, more photos. So then what we should do is scroll down. And you'll see property location here. Now, the first section will show the acreage. And then it'll say... TBD, Southeast 87th Place, Dinell in Florida. And TBD stands for To Be Determined. So typically properties that aren't developed, that nobody's living on, that ha don't have a house or haven't had a house, they're not going to have a mailing address. So it's it's just going to be you know a, a vacant property, no established address until you develop it with, and register it with the county. So what we can do instead is, you know, we can see 87th place is the road the property is on. What we can do instead is uh, down here, it says 8631 Southeast 138th Terrace, Dinell in Florida is east of the property. So we can copy that address and we put it into Google Maps. And we'll see it, uh, it marks the neighbor's property for us. So if we were to, you know, put in directions from, say, your house to this property, it would at least get you right here to where the property is at. This is the, the corner, 87th place, 138th Terrace, and then the gate would be right there. So it'll get you pretty close. Uh, there's another method, which we uh, we list the GPS coordinates. Now you have to put these in exactly as they're written right here, um, or else it'll put you maybe out in the ocean. If you if you change a couple of the numbers, uh, get you know one of the numbers wrong, it could put you in a completely different spot. So you have if you're going to type it out, you've got to type it out exactly how it's uh, printed right here um, or else copy and paste it which is the the best method in my opinion you just put that into Google Maps as well you can put it in for directions or um, you know just to as a you know main input to see where the property is at that'll put you right by the gate right here so again the property is over here now if we go back to the listing there's something very helpful that we use called map right and uh, if you just click on this big red button that says check out our interactive map here, it'll load up uh, MapRite. Go to Map. This will work on your phone as well. There's an app you can get called MapRite. And uh, when you're using the app, when you're walking around the property, you can actually see a little GPS marker of where you're at within these boundaries. And it's, it's very helpful. You can use it to navigate to the property. Um, store maps for when you're offline. If you maybe don't have great service where the property is located. But uh, this is really helpful for kind of exploring the area in relation to the property boundaries. Uh, Southeast 138th Terrace. There's the neighbor's house that we had for the directions earlier. 85th place. So, you know, if you kind of scroll around here, you can see uh, 80th Street is, you know, five, County Road 545. And just, you know, get an idea of make maybe make yourself a little map before you go out there. If you don't have access to ours or it's easier for you to draw it out yourself. That can be very helpful, um, but it, it's good to look at where the boundaries are at before you go out there if you're not going to use the app, just because uh, it, you'll know where the property's at. You'll know, you know, maybe there's a house right here. 
you'll know, you know, if, if you see this house, it's at that boundary. So coming up right after this, I've got a short tutorial video on how to use MapRite. It's the free software you can get on your phone. Uh, makes it really easy to get to a property and get around a property and you'll see this exact kind of view with the boundary. So when you get there, there's no guesswork. You're not walking around up here thinking it's the property. You're not walking around over here. You know exactly where you're supposed to be at, you know, which property it is and it takes all the guesswork out. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. MapRite is a useful tool for finding your way to properties and finding your way around properties. In order to get started with MapRite, you're going to have to navigate to the MapRite.com website. Click sign up and fill in your information to create an account. As soon as you've created an account, you're going to have to go to the Play Store or App Store on your phone. In this case, I'm using an Android phone. Type MapRite into the search bar. Now go ahead and click install. Now that the app is installed, we're going to open it up. You'll have to type in your email address and your password and click sign in. Now the MapRite app is installed and ready to load maps. Now open your mobile browser and navigate to petersellsland.com. Scroll down and find the listing that you're interested in. Once you find the listing you're interested in, click on the listing and scroll down until you find a big red button that says click to view interactive map. On the next page, you'll have to click on another button that will say either open an Android or open an iPhone. This will open up the interactive map and MapRite. Once the map is loaded, it's going to be helpful to store this map for offline use in case the property you plan on going to has poor cell phone reception. In order to save this map, you're going to have to click the menu button in the top left corner of the app with three lines and then click store for offline. Make sure to select certain layers to save on the map, such as water features, wetlands, and FEMA floodplains. Once you've selected those, click Save for Offline Use. To find the map you just stored for offline use, open up MapRite again and click on Shared Maps next to My Maps at the bottom of the app. You'll find the map that you just stored, and you can load it up again. Once the map loads, click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner. This will bring up a menu with options on how to interact with this map. From this menu, you can select Get Directions to find your way to the property. Click on the box that says From and select My Location. Now click on the box that says To and then select Place on Map. Once you click on Step-by-Step -step Directions, it will open up Google Maps and you can navigate to the property. When you arrive at a property, MapRite will display the property boundaries. It also has a feature that allows you to see your real-time location on the map with a GPS point, which means that as you walk around the property, you can tell where you are in relation to the boundaries and other landmarks. To enable the GPS locator on the map, once again click the gear wheel in the bottom right corner. This will bring up a menu and you can click Show My Location. You can rotate the map and zoom in or out using two fingers on your touch screen. There's a compass in the top right so you always know which way is north with the red arrow. If you want to reset the map, all you have to do is click on the compass and north will point upward again. Now you're ready to find your way around a property using MapRite.